There's fun and learning around the bend. You can even do it with your best friend. If there's science stuff that you like to know, come watch Allie and Coco Science Show. Hey guys, and welcome to Ali and Coco's Science Show. We are back. Happy New Year. It's 2022. Oh my God. Welcome to the new year and a new year of Ali and Coco's Science Show. Um, today, I thought we'd start the year off with a fun little, a little craft. And I was going around my house and I was like, man, I love candles. In fact, I brought them all out to show you. Um, and then as I was gathering them, I was like, wow, I do have a problem. Let me lower this just so you can see the, these candles. It's a must. Colette is unimpressed, unimpressed. So like, I mean, you know, two candles, five candles, six, seven, eight. Like, it starts to look a bit much. Um, and then you're like, you live in such a, such, such a small place, where do you store it? Everywhere. I store them everywhere. So, um, anyway, these are my candles. And one thing I've always, I've seen them online, and I was like, ugh, I want one of those. But they're expensive, or like, they're not expensive, but it's like, I already have stuff. Why do I need more stuff? So I thought I'd make one out of garbage. Today we will be making what's called a candle carousel out of, um, you know, just some, just some items I had, just some fun things I had lying around. So we're gonna make a candle carousel. Am I following any directions? No, I'm just winging it as I do. Um, and at the end, we'll kind of talk about the science behind it. Uh, so let's talk about what you need. Now, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've seen some really cool ones made out of like tin cans and stuff. And while I would prefer to use that, I'm really scared because if I cut my finger open, I'm gonna have to go to a hospital and the Omicron variant is out there. And like, what if I couldn't get a hospital bed and I needed to get stitches and I have a needle phobia. Anyway, there's a whole lot to it. So I decided to stick with paper. It's a little safer. For, for me. If you want to use metal, make sure you're taking proper precautions. You have a buddy there. You know how to use the equipment that you're using. Uh, if you're using paper, just know that like, I don't know, flame plus paper isn't always the best combination. So make sure you're always using your little candle carousel safely and taking precautions and you're not leaving it unattended. So let's get started. And just a heads up guys, like you're gonna see me mess up quite a bit, but I didn't include every time that I messed up, but you know what? Science sometimes takes a lot of trials, so enjoy. So what kind of stuff do you guys wanna see on the channel here? More DIYs, I'm thinking I'm doing more hiking videos, like, you know, just get outside, look at some plants. Um, you know, what do you guys wanna see? I wanna kind of cater to you guys since, I mean, you're the ones watching. Oh. Oh. Harkening back to my older um, physics classes, I think I need a second. Look, you don't have to take a physics class to know that two sticks are sometimes better than one. So let's tape these puppies together. Not actual puppies. This is awesome. So, um, did I already attempt to do this and it failed miserably? Yes. Did we go play a little fetch and then we've come, we've regrouped, we're ready to do some more crafting? Also, yes. Have I figured out what I'm doing? No. Am I still going to wing it? Yes. I think for my purposes, what I'm going to do is tape this to the outside of the candle and just use the candle as its own base. That looks so cool, doesn't it, monkey? 
Hmm. Nookie, 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 nookie. Okay, so this is kind of what we're dealing with. Can you see it? Yeah. So uh, it's very, I, I actually, it's kind of cute. So fun fact, um, Colette barked at the mailman and this fell in the flame. I'm not mad at her. That's like, you know, her job is to bark at the mailman specifically. Um, so we need to go in a different direction. Okay, new plan. This is what, it's, it's always about the next plan. I've cut a circle out of my Quaker Oats friend here. I'm going to be um, putting this screw in the middle and that's gonna be like our bearing because I we're having issues with turning on the point. So I'm gonna poke this in the middle. Uh, uh, there you go. And now I'm just gonna cut a along this. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go for it. So here's the sped up version of me basically cutting a fan around this Quaker Oats dude and then twisting them so that they were kind of angled a little bit like fan blades. Maybe it needs more heat. I mean, maybe it needs to look better too, but uh, let's just light a bunch of candles underneath. Fun fact, my little Quaker dude um, fell into the fire as well. So I took the bottom of it. It's much more sturdy. So I was able to cut the same design, but kind of floof it out. Are you helping me? Well, thank you so much. I needed it, monkey. All right, the floofed out version didn't work. This is attempt 10 or 11. It looks like a duck. It doesn't need to. I used a plain sheet of paper that I had in the recycling, cut fan blades out of it, angled them slightly. I put a little piece of tape on the bottom and pricked a little hole for the paper clip to go into and, you know, tried to put it over this candle. It still wasn't working. And then I directed the heat and... Wow! I did it, guys! After so much time, I freaking did it! Okay, so what's happening is when we light a candle, it creates um, thermal energy. So it creates light energy and also heat oh man <laughs> look at this it's moving on i'm not touching it as the hot air rises it hits these different parts of my very well made candle carousel <gasps> so the heat rising is moving moving the carousel i am so excited isn't this the coolest thing is it? yeah well I'm very excited. So I want you guys to try this out at home and tag at Allie and Coco Science Show, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And let me know how your um, carousel comes out. There's so many different ways you can do this. I'm sure there are a million better ways you can do this. You can actually take measurements and get the exact size right, or you can just wing it like I did. Um, this is, sorry, the coolest thing. I'm very excited about this. Um, we are gonna head to the park uh, if monkey wants to but um, For the question of the week. I want to know what do you guys want to see on Alan Cook the science show uh, this year? Um, baking videos DIYs like this um, Messy DIYs we'll call it that so comment down below what you guys want to see uh, on Alan Cook the science show this year and um, We'll see you again next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like sleepy unenthused puppies or you like this really cool makeshift carousel and uh yeah thank you so much for watching i hope your carousels come out a little bit better than mine and we'll see you again next time bye